Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one and some more foolishness. Now today we have uh, an article and it's based off a Reddit thread. And this is on girlsaskguys.com, but I think this is from Reddit. And it's called, A Collie at Work, 27-year-old male of one year refuses to socialize with me, 24-year-old female or any of the women in our office. So guys, this is going to be... A continuation of my women are being ignored at work series. Because once again, guys, this is what they were asking for. And now they can't handle it. But before we get into this, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going. Okay, so. It says, hi, all. I'm posting this on here because I know a few of my friends are following me. And I don't want this spilling out until I have some clear thoughts on what to do. A colleague, 27-year-old male, joined our firm last year, and since then he's had zero issues socializing with the guys we work with, but always finds an excuse or says no to hanging out with the girls after work. Even if we go out together as a whole, he rarely talks to us, and, uh, and it's making some of my friends uncomfortable. So he's not talking to them, and she feels uncomfortable. Clown world, right? How much do you want to bet... This guy is tall, attractive, or whatever. And they're just mad that they're not getting the attention. Okay. So early last year, our firm hired Dan. And the first few weeks, he was really quiet and didn't talk much. And that's just how we thought he was. Every conversation with him was short and to the point and never deviated from work Aside from pleasantries, like have a nice weekend. So you can see, you can see he's cordial. Hey, you know, have a good day, or whatever. About two months in, he started becoming a bit more friendly with the guys in our office, and they would hang out every so often and have normal conversations. However, whenever any of the girls in our office tried to do so, he would quickly change the conversation back to work or just not reply. Even now, after a year of Dan working with us, he straight up refuses to socialize with the girls in the office and it's making them feel uncomfortable. He avoids any dis dis discussion of himself outside of work, which he should do, by by the way, uh, outside of work-related events and future plans and doesn't ask any of the girls either. Uh, where, as he is, what I can only... Assume pretty good friends with the guys in the office. Even on work meals out to celebrate events, he's only doing the bare minimum when it comes to conversation with the girls, where again, with the guys, he talks to them like there's no problem whatsoever. I don't know if I'm overreacting, but one of the girls is, is considering going to HR about this because she is saying that it's creating a hostile work environment. Dan treats us like he treats clients we work with. Cordial and strictly about business, and it's wearing thin now. Any advice is appreciated. Now, guys, with the whole M2 thing, didn't these women say that they wanted to be treated cordial and strictly about business, right? And now here we have a case of they're offended because the guy sticks to himself, will only be a little bit more than... uh cordial with guys hey man how are you or whatever and he leaves the women alone and they're considering going to hr so this is a classic case of darned if you do and darned if you don't it's absolutely insane she wasn't saying oh he's he's you know he, he's coming to our desk too much he's being inappropriate with his speech no they're saying that she is making them uncomfortable that he's not talking to them at all which goes along with every other video in my series guys we they you can't please these people you just can't you just can't do it they want you to psychically, magically know how to uh, how to engage all the women in your office exactly the way that they want. And it's clown world. Absolute clown world. So let's just see what some of these responses are. So Man Menifier says, 
I know exactly why he's being this way, as I've done the same thing once, once too. He's doing it to, to protect himself. Most likely, because he's had a bad experience with women or wo- with a woman or women on the job in the past uh, b- before that led to, to something tro- troublesome. He's not being cold or distant with you or the other women. As intended malice, he's doing it to protect himself and his job. He's aware that a girl can can complain about a guy to man management simply for dropping a pin or tying his shoes. He wants to make sure nothing he says or does is going to be something she will later say made her uncomfortable. So not only does he want to avoid drama with HR, but he also doesn't want gossip going around about something that he did. So I completely understand him. And if I were you, I would find a way to try to talk to him lightly about everything I just said here. So you want to talk to him lightly about a possible horrible experience he's had. That makes perfect sense. But other than that, this comment's good. This other per- person said that this guy's comment is perfect. Highlighted and double lined. I'm going to call out three things. First of all, what is it that the others are uncomfortable about? <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. Don't answer it. This is absurd. Think about, about this and extend it out. What are they going to do? Go to HR and say Dan's not flirting with us? Second bottom line, Dan's doing the job he was hired to do. If the answer is yes, then all of you need need to go back to your desk and find something else to think about and talk, talk about. Finally, you write, Dan treats us like he treats clients we work with, with cordial and strictly about business and it's wearing thin. Do you hear yourself? What is your expectations? He is cordial and biz- business-like. Do you want him acting like he's in the movie the, the Wolf of Wall Street? As if you were in a frat house or working for HW? So again, my advice is for you just to work and leave Dan alone. And we'll read two more here. First of all, you or any female doesn't have the right to demand any attention from from a guy, especially at work. You and your friends are overreacting and reaching, trying to get HR involved for the reason of creating a hostile work environment. I can guarantee your coworker is attractive. And guys, I believe I believe that he's he's probably tall, handsome, outgoing. I, I mean, built good, you know, dress is nice and they can't handle not not getting his attention. So I guarantee your coworkers attractive with qualities that females like. Otherwise, you and your female friends, you wouldn't give a flying F. If anything, your coworker, if, if, if anything, he should go to HR for harassment from you and your friends. That's true. He says, uh, and then he says, HR because he doesn't want to be friends with you? Really? He's allowed to do what he wants. And if he doesn't want to be friends, and that's his choice. And, and this last per- person says, this is quite toxic to force someone to interact with you. If he is fulfilling all of the requirements to complete the job, this is not obstructing the, the progress of your own work and provides all of the input that is required of him, then there's nothing bad with his attitude. Imagine if someone who stayed around you, regardless of you, of you hence you are sending Dan or whatever his name to set up healthy bound, boundaries. You and your colleagues should respect him. So pretty much all, all these are all guys and they all agree Guys, let me know what you think. Here we have a case of a guy. And he goes to work at first. And he keeps his head down. He's not doing anything. But he still says, hey, hey, ladies, how are you? Have, have a good day. But then all, all, all the guys go, hey, man, how how's the Eagles game or the Seahawks game? Cool. But he keeps all the women in business, in the business lane. And now they have the nerve to say that he's making them uncomfortable clown world all right you guys i appreciate you guys let me know what you think in the comments this is aj and i'm out of here